In a survey in 21 states conducted by the National Council of Churches, the migrants themselves listed the evils of labor camp life. Bad housing, flies, mosquitoes, dirty beds and mattresses, unsanitary toilets, and lack of hot water for bathing. One employer of hundreds of migrant laborers was asked, are they happy people? Well, I guess they got a little gypsy in their blood. They just like it. A lot of them wouldn't do anything else. A lot of them don't know any different. That's all they want to do. They love it. They love to go from place to place. They don't have a worry in the world. They're happier than we are. Today, they eat. Tomorrow, they don't worry about. They're the happiest race of people on earth. Mr. Jones, do you think that uh, the migratory laborer makes a living wage? They make a poor living. In other words, uh, sometimes it's just like the farmer. Sometimes when things are good, when the yields are good and they can make good money, they make a good living. It, But uh, take year in and year out from different seas and different sections of the country, I'd say no, they make a poor living. There are days when beans are not ready for harvest, and that's one more day with no income. Ed King, a crew leader, hauled his workers to this camp at Powell's Landing, Virginia, where they worked five weeks pulling corn and picking beans. And when the fields have been stripped in North Carolina and Virginia, the trucks and buses again move north. This is Little Creek Ferry outside of Norfolk. 20,000 migrants are ferried to the fertile fields of the Virginia Cape and the eastern shores of Maryland and Delaware for beans, tomatoes, asparagus, and potatoes. For one crew, hardship was climaxed by disaster, the death of a migrant. We had a little trouble on the road about four o'clock this morning, Sunday morning, and, um, a car and a little red. One the Kia. Has this uh, ever happened before uh, with any crews coming up north? Uh, once I remember, I was in favor of North Carolina. What happened? Uh, everybody got killed. Every year, as predictable as the seasons, there are accidents resulting in death and serious injury to these laborers. On June 6, 1957, at the intersection of U.S. Route 301 and State Highway 102, nine miles from Fayetteville, North Carolina. 21 migrants were killed, 17 males, three females, and the baby boy. The police report stated one of the causes of the high loss of life was the packaging of the occupants of the truck. Today, only six states have laws providing for the safe transportation of migrants within their borders. The state of North Carolina is not one of the six.